Hi, my name is Devin Murphy, application engineer here at Schmerzel USA. This is part two of our SLC 440 light curtain video. Uh, the first one dealing with key features and benefits. This one deals with programming and how easy it is to use our light curtains. So let's take a look. To go over the programming of the 440, we're going to use this demo. Some of you may have seen this demo at some of our trade shows. So let me show you what it consists of. What I would like to point out for this YouTube demonstrations are the two reset buttons, which we will use for the double reset programming, as well as this LED, which gives us the indication of our outputs. And as mentioned in video number one, this nice bright LED cap, which comes with the light curtains. As you can see, we have active outputs, so it's green. And if I intro the light curtains, it is a nice bright red. Before we program double reset, let me show you what that is using this animation. Here we have an operator enter an area. Now we do not have full visibility of the area and we cannot see this operator. So if I were to walk by and hit this reset button, they would be exposed to that hazard caused by the robotic arm. So the idea of the double reset is for that operator inside to hit the reset button, break the light curtain, and then hit the reset button outside the hazard area. So let's program this. Now remember, programming is done by the use of no laptop or no dedicated software tool. You can do this yourself using key selected switches and momentary push buttons. Or we made things a little easier for you and we provide this nice wire cable. And I'll show you how to hook this up. To connect our wide cable, we simply turn power off to the light curtain, remove it from the system, and insert our wide cable at the light curtain. And at the system. We are now ready for programming. Once we connect our wire cable, we are now in program mode, as indicated by the seven segment display. We can now cycle through our program. Program number one, two, three, four, five, and six, as well as the option to save the programming, clear the programming, or go into dynamic mode. For this example, we're going to activate program number five, which is double reset. So let's do that. Again, we cycle through program number five. And we see P5 dash, which means program number five is inactive. We simply hold down our push button. And now we have P5A, program number five is now active. We now go to our save function, hold on our push button, and we see the light curtain recycle power. And if we go back to program number five, P5 active. We have now programmed double reset in a matter of seconds. We can now re rewire our light curtain back to the system, and let's see how double reset actually works. We are inside the hazard area. We are beginning to leave. We hit reset button. We then leave, so we break the light curtain, and then we have to hit the reset button outside of the hazard area. Only then will we have active outputs for our next machine cycle. We also spoke about fixed blinking with movable edge, and that's just fixed blinking with a beam tolerance of plus or minus one. This means if you have a fixed piece of material on a machine that vibrates, you can go up or down one beam and still have your status outputs active. Of course, if you bring any other beams or if you exceed that plus or one minus beam, then your outputs will drop out. Lastly, if we go into diagnostic mode, we should be able to align our light curtain and make sure that we have full beam strength. 
Now purposely mess up line these leg curtains. So let's see if we can align them back. We cycle through our programs until we hit to D for diagnostics. And we hold it down to enter it. We now have a dash, which means that we are not aligned and we don't have full beam strength. So let's see if we can do that. Two parallel bars mean that our light curtain is aligned. If we hit our button again, we check the beam strength. Three horizontal bars mean that we have the full beam strength. And as you can see, if we play around with the misalignment again, we can lose our beam strength. Two parallel bars, three horizontal lines, our light curtain is fully aligned. Thank you for taking the time to look at this YouTube video. Remember, this is the part two. Part one deals with the key benefits and features. Hopefully, you were able to see how easy it is to configure our light curtains without the use of a laptop or a dedicated software tool. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or check us out on our website. Thanks.